How's everybody doing tonight? Y'all been eating some uh, delicious quarantine meals? I hope so. I know I have. Probably too many. I'm always pitching around about 10, 15 pounds, you know, either side of where I should be anyway. So uh, I feel like I could go 20, 25 on this one and be fine. Got excuses for sure. Got some uh, songs I'm going to get to on this one. From last week, I saw some uh, requests that I didn't get to. So I'll get those. Rochelle, if you're here, I got yours. We'll get to that here. I do have a, uh, got a nice package in the mail today from our friends at uh, Black Feather Whiskey. Uh, Jeremy Rawl and his company out there in uh, Salt Lake City. Uh, they sent me a bottle of whiskey today that I've been drinking on, and I uh, just would like to tell y'all that uh, Black Feather Whiskey's donating um, a portion of all their uh, gross profit off until June uh, to the uh, the uh, United States Bartenders Fund and the, and the uh, emergency fund that they've set up for out-of-work bartenders. So uh, any bottle of whiskey you buy from them, uh, proceeds will go to uh, helping out people that are out of work right now, uh, people that used to serve your drinks, uh, that maybe you didn't tip as well. Maybe uh, maybe you got a little guilty conscience and you didn't tip as well back when uh, you took bars for granted. But uh, maybe this time you buy a bottle of whiskey and it goes to a good cause. And uh, you can go to blackfeatherwhiskey.com, find out where you can find bottles. But I highly recommend it. Uh, they've been taking care of us for a while on the road, and uh, we filmed some stuff with them. Good people. <laughs> A song I haven't really done before. Uh, not too much anyway. Uh, solo. So this is a Quaker City song off our most recent record. Time 
Hey, that's a uh, Quaker City Nighthawk song from our uh, most recent record. That's uh, one we did at Nile City. Uh, if you go back and listen to the recording, it's real cool. We got uh, Mr. Jeff Daisy on the saxophone. He's been on pretty much every one of our records since we've been a band. And for good reason. That boy can play that horn. But he also brought in, uh, just drinking my drink like a, like a dad at his house, drinking an iced tea while you're trying to talk to him. Uh, but uh, Jeff, Jeff brought uh, Tio Leo from Latin Express, our Uncle Leo. And he came in and played horn on it too. And uh, it's kind of one of my favorite parts of that track that we got to do at Nile City. I was hearing uh, Jeff and him kind of wing together some stuff uh, and put something on uh, that record. So always good having him. So I'm going to get straight off to the uh, couple songs that I didn't get to last week. I got this mask on right now. I've been doing a lot of mask talk, right? I know this is not the place where you're supposed to wear one, but I stopped. I had to stop at the uh, at the grocery store on the way here and pick up some things. So I did wear mask. Uh, went went mask on for the uh, grocery store. The reason it's still on right now is because this one's like one of those ones you know uh, both ties individually. You see like this. And uh, the bottom one right now uh, is tied into my hair. I think it's just tied straight into my hair. I think it's just a part of part of my hair now. So uh, kind of got frustrated trying to take it off uh, before this started and uh, just left it. I just left it. So know that this wasn't a fashion choice. This is a uh, almost uh, cut this out of my hair with some scissors. So it's one of those choices. Might just have to sleep with it on tonight. All right, here we show. Here's a tune that you crested last week. Thank you. 
stillness of memory what you had what you lost what you had mm -hmm. what you lost oh But this train just came by right at the exact same time, and it is in the same key as that song. That's pretty wicked. Wish I could hear that right now. That's going to be some good slowed down audio if you uh, play that back. If you slow that down, sounds like just a couple dudes sitting around uh, that 70s style table being like, man, that train's in the same key as this song. Pretty cool. I'd also like to thank uh, nobody for getting back to me on what we're doing with uh, mining resources on the moon. Still have zero input on that. Uh, still don't even know what that meant. Uh, how is that even? I don't even know what we're getting. If it's, I think it's still the blue cheese that we're looking for up there. Seems like maybe there's a shortage of it during the teen, this teen that we're going through. But I, I don't know what kind of resources we need from up there. But very strange to me that that would be something we're concerned about right now. Got some, uh, got, any, got any comments? I am also wearing my own band's t-shirt right now. That's where we're at on the quarantine at the uh, Sam Anderson household is I am wearing my own band's merchandise because I think it looks cool, number one, and number two, it is super clean and fresh out the box, so... Uh, if you'd like to see, uh, if you'd like to get one of those shirts, we have them online. We do all of our uh, online stuff through Morgan Mercantile, the uh, the baddest homies in the biz, uh, Chance and Kayla, uh, run a wonderful business there, and that's a small business. It's in the neighborhood that I live in, and if you are looking for any wares right now, please check them out. Um, they sell way cooler stuff than just our band merch. Uh, they've got they've got really cool things that uh, that you can that you could use. They're also selling masks right now. So uh, I've been meaning to order one of those. Uh, they've got some uh, great masks. And uh, I've, on the mask front, I've seen that, um, I think Dallas County, as of maybe tonight, is requiring that you wear the mask uh, whenever you venture out to any essential businesses. I hope I'm reporting that correctly, but I believe that's the mandate, is that uh, You'll need to wear those when you go to the grocery store or if you are out in public. I think it's up to a penalty of $1,000. So instead of using that penalty of $1,000 as making you wear the mask, wear it because it's a pretty th easy thing to do. And it helps everybody out. And like I said, looks dope. Maybe you can customize yours. Get some uh, bedazzled jewelry on there. Maybe get your initials. Maybe some cool, like monster teeth on it where you look like uh, you got a monster mouth or something like that maybe it, maybe a beak would be funny 
send me your funny masks idea. I, I think that would be uh, cool to uh, maybe explore some funny things to paint on, on your mouth. Who knows? Let's check out some comments right here and see if I can see these. King of the Hill stuff. I don't know. I know. I don't know. My dad is hot on the comment thread right now. All right. Let's see there. All right. Somebody's wearing our merch right now. Hit us with a pic in those comments, yo. Let's see what merch you got on there. QCNH mask soon. KJ, collab. You want to figure out maybe a good idea uh, to uh, get some. <laughs> <laughs> if we did do the mask, I promise you it would be uh, an all uh, benefit donated thing. I don't, I don't want to feel. I don't really feel like making money off masks right now. But I would be more than happy to explore the idea of putting out some masks. Uh, maybe uh, hit those first responders up there first. Maybe the people on the front line. But uh, you know, if you kind of want to look cool in a QCNH mask, maybe we can make that happen too. I don't know. Check it out. <laughs> For real, though, uh, any requests I didn't get to last week, hit me up. Uh, if I see it on there, I'll try and get to it. Uh, if it's one of the 12 songs I know, that'd be preferable. Uh, that usually helps. So, uh. Seems I've got to have a change of scene Every night I have the strangest dream Imprisoned by the way that it could have been Left here on my own, no, so it seems I've got to stop myself before I start to scream Cause there's somebody going there Lock the key, Lord, I'm feeling all right Hey, I'm not feeling good myself Oh, Lord Boy, you sure took me for one bad ride And even now I sit down And I wonder why That when I think of you I gotta stop myself from crying I just can't waste my time Lord, I must keep trying I've got to stop believing In all your lies Cause there's too much to do Before I down the nose I'm feeling alright Hey, I'm not feeling good myself Oh Lord, now you can tell them wait now I'm feeling alright To get too lost And all I say Cause at the time You know I really Felt that way But that was then And now you know It's the day I can't get safe So I Guess I'm here to stay now Till somebody comes along And then and I take my place with a different name and a, oh, a different face. Oh Lord, I'm feeling alright. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm not feeling good myself. Oh Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah now I'm feeling alright.
Joe Cocker there for ya. I guess that's a Steve Winwood song, Dave Mason joint, originally from Traffic. Any Traffic fans out there on the chat? Got any uh, people uh, people digging some John Barleycorn Must Die? You got some uh, deep cuts in there? I would be very surprised if that's uh, if that's happening. The guitar and amp. Oh, man, that's a fun story. So this guitar I got, this is a 335 from the Memphis shop, and uh, Gibson Memphis shop. A brand new one, or, or new to me, new 2018 is when I got it. But uh, I got this on Chuck Berry Day at uh, the Gibson headquarters, or the Gibson uh, showroom in Austin, Texas. And we've been lucky enough to be sponsored by Gibson for a few years now. And that's the uh, Explorer I play on stage. Uh, they hooked it up with that one. And this one, uh, you know, we get a pretty good deal. They give us guitars and stuff like that. But this is, you know, this was one a little bit nicer of a brand than the ones that they give out, you know, to 10-year uh, uh, opening bands like Quaker City Nighthawks. But uh, uh Definitely decided I wanted this one, fell in love with it whenever I saw it at the shop. So I got this on Chuck Berry Day, so I feel like it's got some sort of good mojo on it from uh, Chuck Berry Day on the 335's uh, standpoint. But the amp I'm using <laughs> is the direct sound system that Mark, our engineer, has set up. Ooh, look at all the guitar heads out there just shuddering right now, not playing through an amp. Ugh. What's he going to do? It's terrible. Listen, as a band that has played PVs for our entire life, we are used to taking flack for our choice of what we plug our guitars into. And if you don't like it, you can take it, roll it up real tight, and shove it up your ass, because we're going to keep playing whatever we want to anyway. But uh, this is run straight direct through a direct box right here. If anybody needs proof, I'll take a picture of it later and send it to you. But Mark, uh, if you've got a good sound guy, you can plug your guitar direct in, and that sound guy will take care of it. Right now, we have an excellent sound guy, and uh, Mark makes this thing sing. So, uh, y'all make sure to shout out to Mark right now on the chat for uh, this is this is the amp. My amp is is named Mark, and it is custom. Can't really get that at the Guitar Center. Kemper. No, it's not a Kemper. It's. A we got to come up with a name for it, though. I think Machine might be watching tonight, and I played a song for him like three or, three or four weeks ago. Whew. Seemed like yesterday. Uh, I played a song for him, and I told the whole story. I'm not going to tell the story again. Let's have a few more of these uh, whiskeys in me, and then I might start repeating some stories, but, you know, that'll happen. How's Crotch Cam going tonight? We got Crotch Cam still up? I'm not uh, letting the cow out of the barn here, am I? And I think I got my... That's the, you know, uh, this is a funny thing. It's the last thing I do before I get on stage every night for the last 10 years of my life. It's literally right before you walk on stage, uh, fly check. You just do like like literally the two steps before you're actually visible on stage. You kind of pretend like you're uh, adjusting your belt buckle or something and you... you Drop the finger down there to feel if the zipper's all the way up. Because there's really just nothing nothing worse you could have just fully exposed on a... I think uh, Lenny Kravitz had an issue with that a couple years back. Did anybody see that? I'm not going to get too big into the details of that, but I think he... Uh, I don't think his pants had a zipper, though. I think that was the problem. I think a whole different set of problems he had on, on his uh, his end that I don't think... That I don't think I'll ever have. <laughs> oh man, Friday, right? Y'all having fun on a Friday? I'm having fun. Having fun. Been being safe. Ooh, rattlesnake boogie. I might be able to do that one. I don't, I don't do the rattlesnake noise is the problem. That's David that does the rattlesnake noise. That's really kind of the reason you buy your ticket right there is for the rattlesnake noise. Let me see if I can figure that out here in a minute. <clears throat> Let me get this song out for Machine real quick. Uh, 
I won't tell the chip on my shoulder, Father John Misty song that goes along with it, but here's a Papa John Misty song. John Misty there for Machine, Michael Machine. <clears throat> I haven't mentioned it yet. I also haven't cheers everybody yet. Shit. Shoot. That's what I meant. I took a drink before I cheers. Cheers, and now I'm going to take another one. Beard report slowly coming back in. I think we got three weeks worth of growth right now and it's still not looking good. That one I was growing before that had been growing for 35 years. So uh, it's gonna be a while before we get back to homeostasis on that. I didn't bring it up yet, but there is a link uh, right here, right? Am I doing good? Am I being a meteorologist? Yeah. Oh my goodness, getting this nailed down. If you look down here, in this region, uh, we've got a link for a virtual tip jar. Of course, this is a free show to watch. Uh, we want we want uh, y'all to be able to watch this. But if you do have some extra money right now, this money is going to uh, Maine at Southside, uh, business affected directly by the COVID-19 and all the shutdowns that we have. And they have employees and they have people that they uh, uh, that depend on them for uh, a living. And that's that's a tough thing to. Uh, to shoulder right now, and uh, that money goes to them, and then uh, my money I'm donating to artists and service industry workers throughout uh, the DFW area. Uh, if you do have a certain need right now, please feel free to DM me uh, or hit me up on any of the social media sites that I'm on, and if you have somebody or if you are in need of something right now, please hit me up. I would love to uh, be able to help. Um, you know, I've, I've been a... Uh, a traveling musician now for 10 years of my life and uh you know been in and out of jobs and and for, been fortunate enough the last few years to where my only job is playing music and uh right now that's looking kind of grim you know uh we don't know when that uh regular uh 
you know, job that I had returns. You know, we don't know what that looks like. But uh, we've, we've worked really hard over the last few years and toured quite a bit. And, and uh, I've been fortunate enough, like I said, to, uh, to uh, uh, be able to pay my rent and bills, you know, with playing music for the last few years. And, and uh, I know how hard it is living paycheck to paycheck. You know, uh, that's kind of wild when you don't know if you're having to choose between amount of food you have this month or if you have electricity or uh, having to choose between, you know, gas money or internet money. And uh, I know how I know how that works. <laughs> Very all too familiar with uh, how that works. So if you're in need right now, please, please don't feel bad. And uh, complete anonymity will be... Uh, uh, taken into account, you know, uh, but, but please do send me a message. And, uh, if you need some dough right now, or if you just need some help, uh, any other way, please, please reach out to us. Um, we'd, uh, we'd love to help. I know there's a, a bunch of things you could be giving your money towards and, uh, any money you, you put towards it, uh, we really appreciate. That's enough, uh, pledge fund drive right now, uh, out of me. Sorry. But uh, let's get into uh, let's get into some more music here. Let's do. Uh... Yeah, you know what? That sounds good. I'm gonna do a shot real quick. Who's all who's all drinking at the house? Don't feel like you need to drink. But if you if you are, I'm about to do a cheers here. Let me go get this safely off screen so I don't uh encourage y'all to do anything dumb. I'll be hold on. Wait, to, everybody go pour yourself something to drink right now. I'm gonna go get something too. Hey, we're back. Hey, we're not doing that shot challenge thing on Instagram anymore, right? That was detrimental to, I think, a lot of people's uh, nights. So I don't think we should do that anymore. But cheers. Here's, here's, here's to everybody out there. Hey, here's to everybody out there going through it. Here's to everyone living weird-ass lives like we're all doing right now. I love each and every one of you. And guess what? I'm proud of y'all for doing good and sheltering in place and staying at home and washing your hands, and wearing masks, and doing everything you can to flip this, and not spreading bad information on Facebook. I know y'all are doing that, right? You're not spreading uh, stuff that you haven't researched. You're not, uh, you're not scaring people, are you? Don't do that. Cheers. <clears throat> Whoo! Just like, just like mother's milk. <laughs> sounds. Here's another Quaker City song. Yeah. 
That's a Quaker City Nighthawk song there for you. That's called Pay to Play. I don't really like, uh, I don't like uh, talking about what my songs are about. And it's not because I'm trying to be mysterious or anything like that. You know, I'm not doing the, the Bob Dylan route. I just think it's weird to uh, have to describe a song he wrote. Like, uh... If I knew how to explain myself better, I would have done it that way. Uh, it's kind of the only way I know how to best explain myself. It's kind of looking at it this way, like uh, say there's like a famous orator or like a, like a, maybe even a preacher or something like that. He gave a sermon or a speech or something. You're like, my man, that was a great speech. We loved your speech. Would you mind singing us a song about what that speech is about? That's kind of what it feels like to me, you know, where they're like, uh, <laughs> hey, would you mind uh, giving us a speech about the song you wrote? And you're like, well, that's crazy. You wouldn't ask that the other way around. Would you Would you mind uh, writing us a song about the speech you wrote so we could better understand it? No, that doesn't, that doesn't, make, that doesn't make sense to me. Plus, if I explain what that song's about, what if you thought it was about something totally different and then I just ruined it for you? See, I'm not into ruining stuff for you. Let's go to the comments. Oh, Grant Jackson Wilburn's in here. I've had some of the most fun times of my entire life with Grant Jackson Wilburn. He is one of the best uh, sound engineers 
that I've ever worked with slash funniest human being I've ever been around. So uh, we've got some good picks together. There was a couple. There was a time where neither one of us had proper swimwear, but we're offered the chance to ride a sea dew that went seventy miles an hour. So you know we we, we did what we had to do, and we rode the sea dew at 70 miles an hour, him in his boxer shorts, I believe, and me in full stage regalia, uh, polyester pants, uh, boots, and uh, vest and everything. We got that, we got that little turd up to, up to 70, or, or uh, I guess we got it up, whatever the governor hit in on. Uh, that's also too fast, just to let you know, on a sea You shouldn't go that fast. I don't think, I'm not sure I got it up to that, that speed. I got it up to about as fast as I cared to go, but, uh, Lake McQueen wasn't very forgiving on a, if you got the speed hops or speed wobbles on a too fast of a blitzed out sea dew there. Oh yeah, we got some more. Like I'm, I'm when I'm looking over to the left, I've got this screen that has all the stuff. I'm not just like pontificating into the middle distance. I'm, I'm looking at the uh, comments. Would you mind painting a picture about? That song you wrote. Yeah, see, now you get what I'm saying, right? You wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't ask somebody to paint a picture about a song you wrote. Like, like I'm glad you feel me. I'm glad y'all feel me out there. I thought I was crazy there for a minute. All right. Let's do, uh, oh, I got some Little Feet requests. I love Little Feet. I might need to brush up on some of the guitar work on it, but uh, you know what? No. I can do Little Feet. What am I talking about? Uh, he didn't. He didn't pee on our merch. This is bad. Hopefully, Facebook doesn't kick us off for this. He didn't pee on our merch. He. Uh, this mask is everywhere. Uh, we were in the Netherlands. It was our first European tour. We're all scared little babies over there because we don't know anything. And uh, we're on tour with. Uh, I'll leave them out of it in case this gets dicey. I don't want to drag them into this. We were on tour with a, a, a band, a friend, some friends of ours that had been over there quite a few times, and they had a, quite the name over there in Europe, so we were opening up for them. And we're playing... Uh, man, I wish I could remember the name of the city. Not important. We get there, and uh, I don't know if you've ever been to Europe or not. I don't know if you've ever been to Europe or not. God, that sounded so elitist. Uh, God. Sorry. But uh, anyway, uh, if, if you have been to Europe, um, they sell liquor literally everywhere. Like, you can buy it at, uh, like, the gas station, or, like, I think you could buy it in some, like, you know, public restrooms and stuff like that. It's everywhere. So we get to this venue in, um, in Netherlands, and they, they, were, they were telling us, uh, you know, normally on our, our rider backstage, a rider is, like, you have a tech rider, which is, like, all the all the stuff you need for your uh, inputs to play uh, music, you, you know, how many microphones you need and stuff like that. And you also have a hospitality writer, and that's what uh, all gets blown out of proportion on the lore of rock and roll is like brown M&Ms type thing. But on ours, is just, uh, it's usually just uh, like bottle of vodka, bottle of whiskey, case of beer, which we never touch, you know, or we never even get close to finishing. By the end of a tour, we've got about seven, eight bottles rattling around in the back of the van that we haven't even gotten to. But uh, this particular venue, we get there, and they're like, uh, hey, guys, no liquor in this club tonight. And I was like, word? Like, uh, literally, we've been flooded by liquor this entire tour. I wonder why this one club doesn't have liquor. Uh, it's just beer only. So I was like, all right, you know, whatever. Kind of a big place, too. I was like, oh. And then uh, we get done with our set, and uh, usually after our set, I would walk straight down to the merch booth and uh, try and go down there and try and sell as, as many things as we could so we could uh, keep touring in Europe. <laughs> and I uh, get down there, and as I'm walking through the crowd to get back to the merch booth at the back of the main hall, I realized why they didn't sell liquor here. It's because every person there is like fall down drunk like off beer just like it's like when as soon as i walked in the main room it smelled like a beer burp like the whole room just smelled like a beer burp and i am also the most unfortunate height of five eight and that puts my mouth 
or my nose, sorry, let me, ooh, got weird there. Puts my nose at about mouth height to every average drunk male. And they love to talk right in your face, and I'm just getting blasted with beer breath, right? So we're at the merch table, and got the vinyl set out, you know, all of our wares, trying to s swing some stuff. And uh, this very large uh, Dutch gentleman decides to set his... Uh, his, his pint glass right on top of one of our records at the table. I get it. You look, you're watching the show, you know, the, the headlining band's playing, looking for a spot to set down your beer. So I don't come at him hard, you know. I'm in a different country, trying to be a good Texan abroad. And I said, sir, uh, would you mind not setting your beer here? Uh, it leaves like a ring on the records, and we still have to sell these, you know. And uh, as polite as possible. And then he looks at me and goes, and grabs his crotch. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that didn't go even close to how I wanted that to go. So um, he picks his beer up and takes it off. I was like, okay, crisis averted. He was kind of rude, but, you know, whatever. And about two or three songs later, he comes back over and, boop, and sets the beer down right there on the record again. And I was like, man, I just told this guy. Like, he's like, he's like, I don't think he forgot in two songs time. You know, let's, let's, uh, it's like, sir, man, uh, you really, you really can't put your beer here. I'm sorry, you know. And 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 he's speaking in English to me too, so I, I'm a, I'm assuming he's understanding. You know, I, I feel terrible because I don't speak the language, you know. But he grabs it again and grabs his crotch again. And I was like, oh, okay, this is escalating. Like, and this time he turns back around, and grabs his beer, and starts telling all of his buddies of the atrocities he's dealing with by me telling him he can't set his beer there. And then he uh, sets it down a third time. And that's, uh, you know what? Give him two shots. Uh, this is stuff I literally have to sell to uh, sleep in a hotel that night or sleep in the Sprinter that night. So, you know, it's kind of like important a little bit to me. So he sets his beer down again, and I just pick it up and throw it in the trash. And you know what? I realized looking back on it, might have been a little bit of an escalation. Maybe should have uh, maybe talked to a security member or a staff member and explained the situation. But uh, my uh, immediacy had gotten the best of me and uh, threw his beer in the trash. And he proceeds to turn around. And instead of grabbing his crotch this time, I watched this large Dutchman start unzipping his pants. And he exposes himself and decides to smush himself on top of the record where he'd been setting his beer. And I know this is pretty risque for Facebook, but I literally got, um, you know, uh, Arthur Meme Fist. I don't, I don't know how online y'all are, but Arthur Meme Fist, where my fist just balled up and all I could think about was just smashing that dude's wiener into a pancake with my fist, just like, I was like, you just offended me horribly. I'm losing followers right now, left and right. It's it's uh, it's fine. I deleted half of y'all yesterday on Facebook anyway. But uh, before I could even get there, a security guard grabs him, does the whole, like, grabs him by the wrist, grabs his neck, bam, like, slams him down on the record that he had just smashed himself onto, which is kind of a little bit uh, poetic justice, uh, if I'm calling it. But uh, ushered him right out with his pants still down and kind of exposed to everybody. And that was kind of my uh, first foray into uh, wild-ass times at the merch booth in Europe. So I hope that was an enlightening story for you. He did not urinate on any merch. Uh, I don't know who asked that, but uh, there was no, no pee that I was aware of. All right, Little Feet. Let me see if I remember this. Pretty sure I do. Let's uh, let's key it up here. Let's do it. I like that little uh, choir boy vocal range. I, don't, I can't sing those low songs. That's my favorite thing too, because when people ask for Johnny Cash songs, I can tell them, hell no, no chance. Nothing against Johnny. Just don't ever request me to sing a Johnny Cash song. I'm not gonna do it. You want to hear a Johnny Cash song pitched three keys up? No, nobody wants to hear that. 
kind of drops the legitimacy of the man in black there to sing it three keys above where it was written. for you right there. I did remember it. I think I got it right. I think I, I've been switching lyrics up all night, man. You know, this is, a, this is a weird thing for me to do. I'm not used to... This is going to sound... I hope it doesn't sound conceited or anything like that, but this quarantine has been the most normalcy I've had in my life probably in like five years. Because I guess, you know, we we uh, we travel quite a bit with the band and... and there's never a time, I can't remember the last time I've been home for this amount of time with a pretty much lockdown, glued tight schedule that I've been on, which is the schedule is, uh, you know, don't go crazy at home. But uh, this is this has been weird for me. Norm- normalcy has been weird for me. Uh, I know that's not, I'm not trying to be, it's definitely not comforting to people that, that this is like the worst thing in the world, but... Uh, this has been weird, you know, and uh, I've been looking forward to this these Friday night things. I don't know. I, I hope you all are digging it too. But man, I I, I crave these, you know, th- these Fridays where 
I, I, I wake up excited. It's hard for me to sleep on Thursday. I get excited about these. You know, I'm glad that y'all are here watching and I appreciate it. And, and thank you so much for all the money y'all donated. Uh, please keep it coming in. It's, it's, it's going to help people that need it right now. Y'all, y'all been doing a good job. I know we got some weird stuff coming up. Uh, you know, a bunch of deadlines that have been getting released and, and, you know, they keep, you know, we keep getting deadlines pushed back and, you know, it's kind of discouraging when you hear one get pushed back and, you know, maybe they're releasing it incrementally so we don't get all bummed out at once about how long this might last. But I know there's a lot of diff different conflicting information coming out right now. You know, you're getting different stuff from our president. <sighs> Sorry. I don't like saying our president. That kind of got me a little gaggy there. But, uh, uh, you know, president's saying something different than, than what uh, people that are in charge of our uh, specific states are saying. And, you know, uh, from what I've uh, gleaned, uh, Trump's leaving it up to uh, state governments to uh, decide how uh, we uh, roll this back out. And uh, I guess the only advice I could give, and I don't even know if this is good advice, you know, what do I know? I'm just a displaced musician during all this, but uh, I think, uh, you know, you're going to get some people that have certain agendas that they're trying to roll out back right now. There's there's definitely people that want the economy. We all want the economy back, right? Everybody wants the economy back. I don't, I don't think that's something people disagree on. I don't think anyone's arguing for we should make the economy suffer more, right? But what I do think is important uh, to look at is uh, what's more important the economy, at least specifically to me, and this is my own opinion, but as the health of the people that make up that economy. And I know there's going to be a lot of pushes right now to get back to regular life because we all want to. Like I said, I think we all want to, but... Uh, you're getting a lot of information from different people and it's all conflicting. I think uh, right now the only thing I can do is look at people that uh, I know in my life that have made, that I trust, you know, and there's people in my life that I trust that I, I think make responsible such, like decisions. And I've been kind of looking towards them because you know what, I don't know which one of these um, state leaders I can trust. I don't know which one of these uh, national leaders I can trust. Uh, I think maybe there's a lot of people that feel that way, but uh, look, look, look to your friends. You know, look to people that you do trust and, and see how they think, you know. I, I personally, you know, and like I said, whether you trust me or not, I personally think let's stay inside until we nip this thing in the bud. I don't want to just see kind of tiny numbers where it's trending a little bit downward. I think we should stay inside until this, until this is... Looks looks like we got a handle on it, you know. It's it's. I understand people are suffering monetarily, but uh, we'll bounce back from that. I don't know how you. I don't. I don't think you want this uh, COVID nineteen. That's why I'm done preaching. I don't, hopefully that wasn't too bad there. Amen. I think I can do into the mystic. Let's end it on that one. We've been here for about an hour. I want to give you all time to go see uh, your other uh, your other streams that you got going on. There's a lot going on. I know there's a lot of streams going on, and thank you so much for choosing this one. I appreciate it. Uh, big shout out to Mark for uh, always being here and, and the sound being on point every time. Uh, he's also uh, cool with me. He's in the super dark lighting, so I look uh, way cooler. <laughs> Let me see if I remember this one too. I haven't played this in a while. Uh, little Van Morrison song. Uh, Van the Man. One of my favorites is uh, if y'all ever seen the uh, documentary, the film, nay, the film, The Last Waltz. They, the band, the band called The Band, if y'all aren't familiar. They have all the people that they used to work with through their entire career. It's kind of their farewell show, and they have everybody out there, Bob Dylan and, you know, Mr. Hawkins and 
all these people that they've worked with, the staple singers and stuff like that. But they have Van, Van Morrison out there. And this, this dude comes out, and he sh- he's built like me. He's built like, a, I call this butterball turkey torso. Uh, and he is just rocking a purple, like, tight purple bodysuit on this thing. He comes out doing, like, high kicks, just full-on stoked to be there. So uh, I don't know if I'll capture that entire energy, but just know I'm bringing the turkey torso energy to this song, too. Thank y'all so much for tuning in tonight. Really appreciate it. Please check out that link down there. I think there's a PayPal link and there's also a, a Venmo link. Uh, both of them work uh, uh, exquisitely, as good as the links can work. So uh, please please send some, some dough that way. We'll do our best. And if you do need help, please uh, reach out. Uh, send us a message. Um, uh, this is a good time for us all to take care of each other. And I think it's a good time to learn how to take care of each other. Because uh, whenever we come back out of this, we're going to have to figure out how to tell these people that are in charge of us how to take care of us. 
So we got to figure it out first. We will figure it out first, and we'll tell them how to do it too. But I uh, love y'all, and I'll see y'all next week.